Moving ahead with space station power upgrades, some VIPs hear about some very important missions, and new eye-popping views of Earth from space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On April 28th, NASA astronaut Steve Bowen and United Arab Emirates astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi did work outside the International Space Station to prepare for the installation of more new solar arrays to augment the station's power system. Four of the upgraded arrays have been installed already. The remaining two will be installed on a future spacewalk. On April 25th, Vice President Kamala Harris, Republic of Korea President Yoon suk Yeol, NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy and others visited our Goddard Space Flight Center. They were briefed on our space exploration efforts as well as missions addressing climate change, like TEMPO, which is similar to Korea's GEMS. Both missions are revolutionizing the way we observe air quality from space. These recently released views of Earth in ultra-high definition, or 4K, might just be the next best thing for those of us who may never make it to space. The imagery was captured from the space station between March 2022 and March 2023. Check it out for yourself at go.nasa.gov earth 4K. For the first time since 2019, there was in-person competition at our Human Exploration Rover Challenge. The event was an opportunity for student-built human-powered rovers to be tested on a course that simulates the terrain of the Moon, Mars, and other distant bodies. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.